Growing more than 50% of the nation's cherries, Traverse City is best known as the cherry capital of the world. It's true. It's even the name of the airport. But because of its phenomenal location on Grand Traverse Bay, it is more commonly considered the most perfect place for fruit orchards that produce some of the best wines in the country today. Now, while we'll have to admit that it is the most touristy on our six-stop tour, we felt we'd be remiss not having visited one of the locations voted one of the most beautiful places in America. So welcome or welcome back, everyone. Mrs. H here, and I've got another water-based stop to share with you. Anyone sensing a theme here? Now, if you've been following along on our journey, we take you now to Traverse City, Michigan. But before we head out, as always, if you want to be a part of the tribe, please subscribe. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. First, let me say I'm a bit curious about how many summertime Midwest lovers we have. So please comment below if you've ever traveled to Traverse City and tell us about your experience. Now, if you're here for it, let's get started. One of the main reasons we made this stop was to tour the 26 wineries of the peninsula and experience that incredible vino quality of TC as it's affectionately dubbed. And I'm quite happy to report that our wine tasting tour did not disappoint. In fact, we'd highly recommend it. Now some other don't miss Traverse City attractions include Sleeping Bear Dunes, which is a 64 mile curve of beaches, coves, islands, and hills right along the Lake Michigan shore. Another don't miss is the Grand Traverse Lighthouse. It's one of the oldest lighthouses on the Great Lakes. No matter what you're there to see, it's always best to take your time in beautiful Traverse City. In fact, you could rent a bike and take a little coastal adventure. Now listen, a really great way to explore the peninsula shoreline is along Highway M22. It's one of the region's most scenic drives as it passes through vineyards, villages, and even orchards. Would you be surprised to know that you could even shop till you drop in a mental institution? <laughs> no, I didn't misspeak. One major Traverse City tourist attraction is the respectfully renovated mental asylum turned shopping mall of the 1800s. Now, as far as accommodations, we really can't say enough great things about the West Bay Beach Resort, especially for the money. This resort definitely offers something for everyone. While it is on the beach, which is our favorite part if you haven't guessed already, it is also within walking distance to anything you'll want to see and do in Traverse City. Now from simple to swanky, downtown Traverse City offers some spectacular cuisine. In fact, for several years running, Midwest Living has listed Traverse City among its five top food towns and Bon Appetit has listed it as one of America's top five foodie towns. The variety is endless. You could sink your teeth into some blue tractor barbecue or even enjoy some top chef gourmet cuisine. Now that you're aware, please share. And of course, for more like this coming down the pike, all we ask is that you please like. Above all, be kind and maybe we'll see you on the road. <laughs>